Hi YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to um, get your Apple Mighty Mouse working with Windows. So first of all you need to go to this website here, link will be in the description. You need to get, you need to go on to Mice, obviously, it's a mouse. And you go on to Sidewinder X8, you choose your operating system, whichever. I'm on Windows Vista 32-bit. And your language, which is English for me. Click go. Then you click IntelliPoint 8.0 for Vista. I've uploaded this file, this one here, to Mega Upload. Um, the link for that will be in the description, so you don't have to go through all of this if you're on Vista 32-bit in your English. And then you need to go to the, this page, which the link is in the description, and get a 32-bit driver. But I also have a 62 bit and the link for that will be in the description also. So once you've downloaded all these, I'll show you what to do. Hi, I'm back again. Now, once you've installed these drivers, you just double click the EXE once you've downloaded them. You go on to, you need to have Bluetooth for this by the way. You go on to start control panel. Um, just let this load. Bluetooth devices. Now you click add. Just let me open the program just a sec. Um, so as you see I want my mighty mouse here. Just close the toolbar. Alright, so need to make sure this is turned on, so to turn it on you go like this, wait for the green light to show up, right so that's done, click next, wait for it to find your bluetooth device over here, here's my dongle by the way, just wait for it. now it's um, found my apple wireless mouse which is here obviously, click properties, right click properties, services and then tick this click apply it should say installing device software right. Okay. right so you need to click this so when you get your pop up that's saying um that says enter the passkey for the bluetooth device the passkey is the device drivers have been installed the passkey is one two three four four zeros Click, click next and unclick that and you can click it if you want to then you click next and then you can just click cancel then you click finish as you can see my Apple Mighty Mouse is working but that's not all you can do right, so I'll click I can go into control panel turn it on that it's a bit laggy that's not the one, sorry. Go to mouse. Then I can click pointer options, fast, make it quicker. To make my scrolling speed faster. And I'll show you the multi-touch features now. Right, I'm going to open Firefox. Here's my download pages, let me just open a new page here. Oh, sorry about that. I wish this one would stay up. Oh, damn, man. I'll just make this one. If only I'd snap to with Windows 7. And there we go. Tap in Google. And then now watch, I've got my multi touch scrolling. That's a bit quick actually. There we go. So that's my scrolling. I can make my page go. I've got horizontal scrolling as well. And if I hold down the control key, which I'm doing now, do this, zooms my page in. Although you do have to use manual zoom, because it doesn't zoom in automatically. So that is how to get the Apple Mighty Mouse working with Windows.